We are here in Fort Lauderdale. It is Ice Butcher. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Man, what, so? Dave Custon, Sean Guerin. All right, what's cool about ice? Uh, what's not cool about ice? I mean, you know, ice is something that, uh, for us in particular, is incredibly important as we're making our cocktails, especially if you're using a high-end cocktail like Fighting, Fighting 69th here. It's you, delicious, by the way. We, we Who's it too. Yeah, all candor, it's my father-in-law uh, came up with Fighting 69. All right, well, so just for the record, everybody, super, super smooth. Um, when, um, where did Ice Butcher come from? Uh, Idea Sunday. Yeah? Yeah. Was, was <laughs> Elaborate. One of our other partners, we'd get together on Sunday. It was an excuse to sit around and have some cocktails, but, you know, the premise was, we would come up with ideas, business ideas, anything. And it led us back to our buddy had just come back from New York where he experienced a crystal clear cube with the bar's logo stamped on the ice. It, it was a beautiful piece of art, but it also lasted a lot longer in his cocktail. Uh, it didn't affect the taste of the cocktail. So we started going down this path of, well, how do we do that? How do, how do we get that type of ice to our friends, local bars, restaurants. So after talking to a number of different companies in South Florida, we found this company here that was the premier ice sculpture company in South Florida. And really beyond, because they go to the West Coast, we go up North. You can't really even think about ice sculptures. Let me tell you, that's a lot of fun too. And extremely, extremely cool. But we had the facility, we can get into the details later, but we have all these climb bells that make the giant 300 pound blocks of ice. So we had the ability to make the crystal clear ice, but now we needed to come up with our product product line for the cubes, for the spheres, and some of the really cool stuff we're doing with inclusions, which we call, Dave likes to call functional ice, where we can put mint inside, we can get into the product line stuff, but logos. The reception has been great. Um, chefs certainly have some influence, but uh, food and beverage managers, bar managers, um, we actually work with some mixology consultants, believe it or not, that's a thing, um, when setting up a new, a new bar or restaurant. Uh, so the reception has been fantastic. The, the most excitement probably comes from the customer. You know, a customer is spending, uh, you know, 15, 16, $17 on a cocktail, um, and they have this, this beautiful piece of, of ice or artwork as we like to look at it, in their drink. And so the, the reception from the customer has probably been the strongest. I mean, as you guys know, like I, I'm out in the industry, I'm in restaurants, I'm in hotels, bars, the whole thing, right? Um, since meeting with you guys, I, I have noticed everywhere that I go now, I look at the ice cubes <laughs> and, I, and I realize that everybody's cubes, for the most part, they're cloudy, you can tell that they're with a mold and, and there's yep. a mold line and, and all of this. And and the, the difference between what I see out and what you guys are producing here, it's two at different ends of the spectrum. some of those same guys that would mess around with those, the molds and 
Most bars and restaurants, say almost all of them to a certain extent, have a big cube or a big sphere. But you're absolutely right. You know, they're proud of it and it comes out. I'm like, this is cloudy. That's all that cloud, it's all impurities, which is going to melt and leak into my $16 cocktail, which I don't want, I don't like. So a lot of people don't even know that they want our product yet. They don't know, it's coming. Um, but when it's clear, we use a process that filters the water before it even goes into our tanks five times. Six. Six step. I was just checking to see. I don't six want any trouble here, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. RO. Okay. Six step RO. It's like the six minute abs. Okay. And we have the five minute abs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely need that. <laughs> but it does because the process, it takes three to five days to make these giant 300 pound blocks of ice. And it freezes from the bottom up and it would push the impurities to the very top and we would shave it off. We ultimately now don't even have to shave it off because the impurities, 99.9% .9 of them are gone by using the process we're using. Your drink deserves the best ice available. Um, but from a, you know, sort of a practical, functional, operational standpoint, uh, clear ice, our clear ice is slower melting than the, than the ice you make in a, in a mold. Uh, so it's slower melting, it's impurity free. Uh, you're having a, an expensive scotch, an ex expensive bourbon. You don't want that drink to get diluted quickly. And so this is slower melting, impurity free. And if you're in a bar or a restaurant or even at home and you've made cubes in a silicone mold, in addition to the impurities and the cloudiness, which you know looks like crap, um, the silicone over time, it, it breaks down and imparts a smell to the cube. So your drink smells, right? No one want, you want your drink to smell like the thing you're trying to drink, not a, a stinky silicone mold. So those are some of the reasons why um, clear ice. But again, moreover, as I mentioned before, you're in a bar, you're spending a lot of money on a drink, a lot of money on, a, on an expensive scotch or whiskey, uh, you want to have a premium cube in it. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want to put crappy ice. Um, those people, by the way, are called ice holes. So <laughs> we're trying to eliminate the world of ice holes. You ice hole, wow. Uh, you, okay. don't want to, you don't want to be an ice hole. You don't want to be uh, treated like an ice hole. Uh, you want to have good uh, quality clear ice in your drink. Exactly. Life, Life short, sure. don't be an ice hole. All right, so we just left the ice house where we grow this beautiful crystal clear ice. Now, down on Las Olas Boulevard, we're gonna go and find some out in the wild. We're gonna start with a, one of our first and best customers, Vino's Wine Bar. And if we're lucky, Q's gonna be working today and we're gonna make some great old fashions. Come on. Hey guys, this is Quentin. We're here at Vino's on Las Olas, all right? We're here in Corporate with the Ice Butchers showing you some classic cocktails. We're gonna do a classic old fashioned for you today. All right, just trying to show off the premier ice cubes here in Los Olas. All right, what we're gonna do is keep it very, very plain and simple. We're gonna start off with our Maker's Mark bourbon. Very simple addition of some simple syrup as well. To add the aromatics, we're gonna add the bitters as well as a splash of our orange bitters as well. We're gonna to top this off with ice CD rim. Give it a nice stir to the outer limb. The outer rim of the actual shaker is going to be nice and chilled. Pour this over our cube from the ice butchers itself, and then we're going to just slowly pour that and show we get every last drop out. Come through with a little bit more aromatics. We're going to do a nice little orange peel for it. Zest that over the cube. Get the rims as well. Add in our cherries in as well. And then we're all set. Beautiful, classic, old fashioned. All set. All thanks to the Ice Butchers appreciated for their ice cubes as well as the uh, Venus on Las Olas for providing us with great cocktails. Guys, have a wonderful day. If you ever have a free time, come through and have a cocktail. So you're making ice cubes, you're doing the spheres, they're beautiful. Um, you mentioned earlier about sculpting. Right. Um, obviously, there's you know banquets are coming back, and yeah. and, and you know we're we're into regular uh, you know, regular uh, workflow. What is the most badass sculptor sculpture sculptures that um, that you guys have seen? So we do a, we do a lot here uh, in terms of uh, ice sculpture. So there's there's the what you might 
call the sort of standalone sculpture, right? A lot of events, a lot of parties, people at home are, are, are ordering these. Uh, and then there's the very elaborate uh, seafood or food display uh, type sculpture, which is beyond a sculpture. It's, it's, it's not only are there sculptures on it, there's functional, there's functionality to it, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have a, um, a customer here in Boca, uh, Boca West where we'll do a 20 foot, 25 foot long uh, structure of ice that has elephants and parrots and palm trees and and those to me those parts are the most beautiful because they're 3d they're not just you how much does it take to, to i mean what's days the... days yeah. days and it's extremely elaborate to plan carve and set up uh, so those those to me are really exciting to see I and mean, we do a lot of 3d stuff um because that's really like a, when someone hears the word sculpture i think that's what they associate with like you know michelangelo right and so um, some of the more fun ones might be adult themed. We won't get into that here, but uh, you know those are always exciting to see. What's well, it? They're literally in these coolers, these walk-in coolers, with chainsaws, as you would imagine, carving. I mean, we've done some really fun stuff. Even we did something for City Furniture, or we did a full life-size yeah. Lazy Boy. Lazy Boy, and it was great for the party because from. Um, you know, picture, photo op, op, I mean, it was so cool with these people just sitting in this ice chair. I mean, that's like a, that's a selfie uh, dream right there. Absolutely. And you know what? I would find a way to, uh, to fall asleep in that. So. <laughs> <laughs> definitely find a way. Um, all right, so we're in 20, uh, it's this year, and what sort of challenges are you running into out there? So, um, there's, a, there's a couple of operational challenges. Uh, the labor market's a little bit challenging. Um, for everybody, you know, yeah. for everybody, but it, you know, in particular for us, uh, the conditions here can be harsh. You know, we have the, we have three walk-in freezers that are, you know, 20 degrees, right? And working in a, a 20 degree or colder environment, you know, that, that could that could wear on a, on a person. So the labor market's a little bit of a challenge. Um, I think for us, uh, you know, a, a separate challenge is, is getting our product out to everybody. I mean, a lot, there's, there's material demand um, and, you know, distributing ice is uh, is not an easy thing. In particular, when it's a small unit of ice. Large sculpture, there's a lot of mass to it. It, it can withstand some... Like 10 people to take one... one it's not so much, to, it's not that it's 10 people. A, a large mass of ice can withstand being out of a frozen environment for a while. Right. Whereas, you know, a cube, uh, it's a little more challenging. But there's inherent challenges that have always been in this industry that we found. I mean, sort of setting up a bar like he was talking about, 20 foot bar, it's putting together a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, you could be using you know, 35 of those 300 pound blocks of ice that have all been carved and you know, numbered. So you got to get there and put it all together. That's a, it's a bit of a challenge. It's, he it's, it's heavy, cold, and slippery. Right. Well, I have to believe just by nature of, you know, I'm in the business. I've, I've not ever heard of a company doing this. I have to believe that one of the largest, uh, not ob it's not an obstacle, but um, it's something that you have to really put effort into is getting the word out that, hey, we exist. Yeah. And this is the wonderful product that we actually have. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. you, like you said before, uh, people want this, but they don't know it yet. They don't know Your yet. Bar, that bar manager out there, he doesn't realize how badass this is. Yeah. The bar or he's, man making, or he's making his own. I've right? seen it. I've and been, the listen. barbecs are like, this sucks. Like they're going back to the freezer. They're having to fill these things up. They forget to fill it up the night before, and then they have no ice. I I, mean, I've seen bartenders fumbling with the, you know, pulling them out of yeah. the, and they're fumbling with the thing, yeah. and it's it's yeah. just, it looks terrible. And a lot of times they get stuck inside those uh, molds, yeah. and they're digging them out with their fingers. It's, and, oh, it's horrible. Like yeah, I, I yeah. it's really, I get it. I yeah. get it. The bar managers that know, the F and B managers that that know where, you know, sort of the. the the drinking consumer wants to go, they're leading that, and that's an easy sale for us. They how how right are these away. packed? Uh, for the whole, cubes, the cubes and the spheres. Wholesale customers, they come 25 in a bag. 25 in a bag. Our retail customers, uh, we have an eight cell tray, um, which will be at retail soon. And um, yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, so we're working on some uh, retail outlets, some um, you know, liquor stores that could potentially have the old ice cream you know, style freezer where they can go to the local store and actually buy this ice, uh, which is really cool. I've seen some uh, TikToks where these wives are making fun of their husbands who are going through this whole process of making <laughs> all this stuff. Where does it go? And, and she doesn't understand it. 
well, ultimately our original idea will ho hopefully solve for that. And we can just, every week, every month, wherever it is, we just ship the ice right to them. You're helping families one Everywhere. ice cube at a time. Right, We're, we are preventing I, I divorce. <laughs> I love that. The family unit stays together. So what what is the, um, what's next for Ice Butcher? Yeah, so what's next, uh, just, there, there's two there's two big things that we're really focused on. One is on the ice sculpting side, which is which is to uh, educate the market that ice sculptures are not just for that once a year event. Um, we believe that we're going to be successful in making sure that the market knows and and buys, you know, what we're calling everyday ice sculptures. And so you'll be able to go to a retail shop one day, uh, near future, pick up a small ice sculpture for you know Mother's Day. A birthday, a random dinner, um, versus the, versus the large lifetime event. Well, centerpiece, centerpiece. That's exactly. That's pretty. Uh, yeah, that's innovative. Yeah, we think we we think we could be the uh, one hundred flowers of ice. So, with that said, yeah. um, and I think we could be the Dollar Shave Club for ice. Okay, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna. I like this. So that's that's big, so that's retail. That's so. So that's big piece number one. Okay. Big piece number two is just. You know, having access to, to good ice because there is there's science in this. You can't do this at home easily. Right. You cannot have clear ice. At I home can easily. attest to that. Actually, yeah. yes. it's 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 really challenging. And even when you there there are some ways to do it at home, but it's it's not exactly this. So the, 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 listen, at the end of the day, you know, we all work. Everybody works hard, right? You come home. The, the thing I don't want to have to do is kind of fumble around. Is have another job. I grind. I want to I want to <laughs> plot the cube or the bourbon. Yeah. And I want to enjoy myself. Yeah. Right. List. And that's that's how that that's how that works. Yeah. Um, gentlemen, listen, uh, we have uh, we have a lot more to do here today. This is an awesome conversation. I think we should do another round and uh, and, and make it happen. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers.